Crispin Odera was part of the Kenyan hit squad that dominated African boxing in the late 80s and early 90s. He won the All Africa Games Super Featherweight title in 1987 in Nairobi, beating Shibalabala Kadima of Zaire. At the 1988 Summer Olympics in Seoul, South Korea, Odera was knocked down by eventual gold medal winner Lennox Lewis, who was fighting under Canadian colors then. After the Seoul Korea Olympics in 1988, he had a, a fracture on his ankle, of which uh, it took him off from uh, active boxing. Locally, he dominated the boxing scene for many years, and retained the national title for six years. He moved to Stuttgart, Germany in 1992 and played six professional bouts in Europe. But his boxing career ended prematurely after a nagging injury he picked up at the Seoul Games failed to heal. Then after the six matches, he found that he could not continue anymore with active boxing because of the, the rate of uh, healing and his weight. So after six matches, he hung his gloves officially. So to feed his family, he was doing odd jobs, and uh, most of the jobs that he was doing were just casual jobs. Odera passed away on Tuesday, 27th November, in Germany due to health issues. The cause of death was kidney failure. That the kidneys were totally gone, that they could not retain, so he died of kidney failure. His family has not been able to raise the 4,000 euros, approximately 448,000 Kenya shillings, to bring the former pugilist body back home. So from Friday when I had that news, I was told the other, the other thing that was shocking was the deadline. I'm told on a Friday that I have to raise 4,000 euros by Tuesday or else they'll dispose the body. With each passing day, it's torment for Odera's mother, whose only wish is to see her son's body laid to rest here in Kenya. At our baby, Tumwili, one the family has been forced to appeal to well-wishers to assist offset the hospital bill as well as the transportation of Chris Odera's body back home. Geoff Rashira, Citizen Sports.